you know, there are lots of designers out there now can give you a logotype. You can even get a logotype of $5. Yeah. And in a lot of cases, you know, those logotypes sometimes will be decent. You know, sometimes you might get a decent logo for $5. Uh, and that's because they are, you know, considered from a, you know, golden ratio perspective yeah. or, you know, they're well balanced and they're using the, the nice topography and colors and so on. Uh -huh. uh, but then even a really nicely designed logo can be weak for a company because it just looks like any other company in that space or maybe even another this industry can take that logo and, and it will just suit them just as well, you know? Yeah. The idea behind injecting some creative thinking is to have some uh, meaning behind the logo and have some conceptual thinking behind that. Obviously, a great way is to, to start with a brand strategy. Yeah. Uh, but but if you're just a logo designer who's I guess who's not that far along your journey yet in the brand strategy world, or maybe if not working as part of a team that has you know that capacity or capability, at the very least, you know ask some really quality questions from your client uh, about the business and really try to define you know what's the unique selling proposition, you know what's the key dif you know differentiator for the brand, how do the customers perceive them, how do they want the customers to perceive them. What qualities would they want the brand to have? And kind of just dig, keep digging deeper until you have three or four uh, concepts or objectives that you want your logo to communicate. But I kind of start my logo design process from only after having those four objectives. Uh, so then I'm trying to come up with a solution that's based on those four concrete things that I know about the brand rather than just pictograms that I've explored you know, on a piece of paper without any kind of research or background information. What I think is super valuable in what you just shared um, is that anybody can do that right now. If you're a logo designer and you're just used to choosing colors and making sure that it's based on the golden ratio, that that makes it an aesthetically pretty logo, you start asking those four questions that Ilya mentioned and all of a sudden you're selling a bigger engagement to your client. You're not just this pixel pushing logo any designer anymore. You are selling a more consultative engagement to the client. Yep, and it yep. differentiates you from the $5 logos that are out there. And when a client comes to you with a low budget, you can say to them, ah, we can't hit that budget because we don't just crank out some pretty logo that doesn't target your audience or represent your business in the right way, we go through a little bit of a brand strategy process to help identify the right logo that's going to speak to your right audience and represent your business in the right way. And uh, that's, I think, super valuable. Just such a simple way, it's such a simple approach to uh, starting a logo project different than what all of the junior Fiverr designers are doing out there. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that just from, you know, when you put a, a job up on Fiverr, I've done this just as a test for, uh, because a client of mine, he said, hey, what, you know, why don't I go to Fiverr? I said, okay, I'll, I'll do one with you. Let's put up a project up. I had like 50 submissions from a logo um, within like half an hour. Yeah, wow. Now that to me, that <laughs> says, there hasn't been that much thought that's gone into your logo because you really can't research and can't, you know come up with a lot of different innovative solutions in that time. Like you really just this is just your surface ideas. Um, and a lot of times there were kind of logos that I've seen before. So they've clearly gone to like Shutterstock or you know some illustration website, and they've kind of just tweaked the colors and tweaked the topography a bit, and that was the logo that they've submitted. That's super interesting. So they didn't even know. They never talked to the client. You being the client. They just were putting the text of the brand under an icon that they downloaded somewhere and then throwing it up there seeing if you'll buy. Is that essentially what was happening? Yeah. And there was sometimes there yeah. were like 10, so, 15 different submissions from them, like different variations. And like, okay, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. So yeah, you don't want to compete in this space. You do not want to compete in that space. So you have to differentiate yourself from those people. And you can do that by asking the client questions and giving a more creative thought process 
behind the logo and selling your client on that at the start. Teaching them, educating them on what you're going to do versus the, those Fiverr designers that are out there.